Stuart, yeah. Why did you build this house? <laughs> it's just temporary. This is a cow shed, this is not a house. That's a house there. And I come back from Australia in 1984, a broken man in every way, financially, physically, because I suffered from ME, and spiritually, because I just got out of an awful bad marriage. And that's a house here, which I was going to do up. And I thought, I'll move from a shed up here. And I thought, I'll make it comfortable to live in. The door is wonderful. Very much a, a, a Lord of the Rings door, isn't it? Everything in this house has been built by Stuart with his own hands and with the materials that he's either bought or found. And he's put everything together himself. Just all the things in my head is that just plan to do, you know, because if you're working as a joiner for somebody else, you've got to do what they want. And all this ideas come into your head, so I just, uh, all this dreams, put them all into it. I'll start with the kitchen table. <laughs> Dovetails. <laughs> I've got this one down the borders, but all the other stuff in here is just local. Mm. A genuine Wedgwood dinner set. And another extra reading light here. This is this is the hard eye cabinet. This is the fire and stove mode. And this lifts off and hangs around the corner, and that's set in Kaylee mode. This is the wood box, fire lighters. And this is the matches. <laughs> oh, I just did this the other day. Where did you get those? <laughs> yeah. In the winter, Robbie and I have been up here in the winter. And it's just so warm, it's yeah. not true. That's a TV. That's a daytime TV. That's so I can watch it in bed. That isn't the kitchen. That's great. Well, with a well stretcher built in like that. Yes, Beautiful. it's just made out of other people's rubbish. There was a trawler at the... Uh, it was the deck of a trawler that was broken up in Aberdeen. And a nephew of mine built it up here. Can you see him here? <laughs> oh, the microwave. Hi, Jill. This place is high tech. <coughs> and the fridge. <laughs> oh, high tech and rustic. The kitchen steps. For a short, he's getting up to that high shelf. And there's no nails or screws or glue or wire or string keeping it together. It, it's kept together with these pegs and it flat backs. And it doubles up for a seat. The moosey bowl. Surely you don't need muesli, Stuart, do you? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Why surely no? <laughs> That's a That's a cup. <laughs> that boy, yeah. Between this way is the bed cupboard. And the toaster's ready for action at all times. <laughs> you don't have to fumble with switches or cables or anything like that. When the toast jumps off, you close the door. This is a veggie cupboard. It's a hatch it lifts out. And this is a shower. Do you see the shower head? Oh yes, yes. It's a golden soap. Too. Golden soap. <laughs> no commercials now. Uh, this is a toilet, as you can imagine. I mean, you didn't know we were coming, and the place is just immaculate. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> well, it's not really. This shouldn't be here. This shouldn't be here. Okay. And uh, Tina took off all the curtains this morning. It's got beautiful curtains. It's that reddish curtains. It gives it a lump glow effect when you're outside in the dark. You know. Now, mind your head. I smashed my head. It, in the it was made for four times a Snow White. Not the it was made for the dwarfs, not Snow White. <laughs> Just amazing. Everything. Beautiful. And all with great thought. So how do you go about taking a slab of wood and turning it into a table like that? Well, I made this machine for, uh, for cutting logs into planks and beams and whatever. Give you a laugh. There was a lady who parked her car down below. The trees had them in so thick rain, and a lady had seen it from the road. And she come up and she says, "I hope you don't mind me asking you a few questions. I work for an insurance company in the south of England that specialises in thatched roof cottages." And she was standing here, and she says, "I'd just like to get a few clues from you." And I says, "I don't know anything about thatched cottages." And she says, "Yes." I says, "That's a concrete cottage." Thank <laughs> you.